some sort of like baby yoga. There he goes. Hello campers and good morning. Good morning everybody. <laughs> I said hello everybody, good morning, good morning. What's the matter, buddy? Our little buddy is doing an army crawl. You be nice. Um, be so nice. he's definitely making some strides here and there with this moving. He was just over here on this uh, blue part. So as you can see, he's gotten some squares. He's getting, you know, he's getting some squares going. Square to spare. Funny. Oh, such a show. Come on, bud. So, what'd you guys do today while I was at school? Well, we got up, we played on the floor, we took a nap. Look at his shirt. <laughs> Why do you look like David Hasselhoff, son? <laughs> wow, he really stretched that. Yeah, he did. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has little buttons on his pants. Yeah. And I, let me do this kind of slowly so you don't These get sick. Smug, I have buttons on my shirt. Nope, nope. Now you can probably see him right there. Yeah. So he's sitting on my lap today. Uh, hi. 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 He's sitting on my lap today and he starts playing with the buttons and then he looks down and sees a button and and I mean he literally is like oh. So he looks at his button looks over at my button, looks at his button, and I mean, he just continues to go back and forth. Like, that's something that This is pretty they, cool. It's like uh, one of the leaps, the mental leaps, they can start to categorize things. Oh. Like, a lot of them are by size and things like that, but sure. I bet he was like making a mental note, hey, these aren't the, like, the same thing. I mean, it was pretty neat. It was pretty neat to watch. I'll tell you that. It was. I saw it. I thought about, um, remember yesterday when I was telling you I wanted to, like, save up and get one of those cameras? And you yeah. were like, why don't we just move the eye baby out here? And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea, you know? Cool, we don't have to. But I realized, I forgot to tell you the reason why I wanted to do it was so we could get, like, if he does something really cool uh -huh. when we're not filming. And we uh -huh. can be like, you guys, here it is. You know, because, like. Lately, when he's been doing stuff, we haven't been rushing for the camera, which I'm not upset about, you know, because he'll do it again, and at least we got to share, like, that first moment, and I think it's, like, a good thing moving forward, because once he gets old enough, I don't want him to think that our first, like, reaction to everything is to go grab the camera. Right. You know, I want him to be able to be mindful, be in the moment, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. but, like, whenever he does something, like, super cool... You know, and we're all like, oh, like these are genuine reactions that I would love for people to be able to see. So that's why I was thinking about that. So still considering, um, still considering that for that aspect. Because they make that nest, they make a good indoor cam. Yeah, they do. You know, right Harrison? Uh, right. Speaking of catching acts. I think it is also one of those like cameras that you can see at night, like see night things. Uh -huh. uh, the cats were going absolutely bonkers. Last night? Yeah. Over what? I, I don't know. I couldn't see. It was too dark. This one likes to roll his um, like Fisher Price balls around. The ball was definitely going or something that made noise like the ball. Actually, I think it was that big red one. You think so? Yeah, because it was over here, uh -huh. and then when I got back up, I had to get up to use the bathroom. Uh -huh. I should probably tell the campers something. Probably, probably. For the last probably like, I don't know, a month or so, I've been sleeping on the couch. Um, I've had so much homework to do. Like, I'm not going to sit here. You guys know that I'm pretty, you know, I'm stressed out. I'm doing pretty well with it, though, like being able to talk about it. But um, I kind of talked to Carrie about this a little bit the other day. Uh, but I definitely went through, like, on top of my stress, I was going through a little postpartum depression. And I didn't really want to, like, make a big deal out of it because I already had a lot of stuff going on with school um plus carrie's here doing the same thing every day 
and you know like there's nothing I could do because I had to do my homework and I was like you know reading into a lot of things um, comments people would leave you know uh, sometimes you just can't not read them you know what I mean right like you can not respond but like they're still saying they're still that. yeah like I read these comments and I'm just like you know and you I think people can always tell when I'm kind of in one of those like Funks. funky mood or whatever because I'll comment back and I'll be like you know why did you take the time to do this what does this mean this and that mm -hmm. and you know stuff with my friends and but I wasn't and I didn't I didn't feel a disconnect from my family or from the baby I didn't have that kind of PPD but I did feel a disconnect like from my life itself mm -hmm. and uh you know, I obviously I, I'm a therapist. I'm a you know psychologist, so I always tell people you know talk to people. Well, I take that advice too, you know. So I have someone to talk to, and uh, it was it was good because I was able to make sense of it, make sure I could kind of figure out what it was, and it wasn't that I kept it from Carrie to like keep her out of the loop and like not tell her anything. It was more of, I got to make sure I find the right words before I kind of worry her. Now, I know like a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, you guys have such good communication. You know, this started like a month ago. Why haven't you told her? I mean, obviously I told her before I'm talking to you guys about it. But for me and having like this heightened sense of awareness, like when it comes to depression and comes to other things, I didn't think it was something that, I needed to get her excited about until I figured it out myself and you know you don't go to a psychologist and on day one they're like oh you definitely have postpartum depression it sometimes takes a little while even though most people will get like a diagnosis on their first day you know of something you know because they'll come in and say this or that but diagnosis can change over time and yeah so I was definitely going through a little bit of that it was tough yeah. That is not why I'm sleeping on the couch, though, but it has a little bit of something to do with that. Um, it's just, I don't I don't like when Carrie has to get up all night with the baby, and I want to make sure that she is able to get food, not food, but like a snack in the middle of the night because he just eats at really insane times and make sure she has water. So it just got easier in the beginning to just sleep on the couch because... I know that she's going to be getting up every hour and a half, and I wanted to make sure she was okay. Well, then after that, I just had so much homework, so I would stay up and stay up until 1 or 2 in the morning, get homework done. She would get up once before that, and then it was just easier for me because I was so exhausted to just sleep on the couch. Well, now it's kind of like, man, you're sleeping on the couch so much, there's definitely like a big change in our family dynamic because I'm not sleeping in the bedroom as much. So I'm hoping that things will be good in a couple days because I've made some really big like homework strides. But um, you know, check in with your people who have just had kids, you know, see how they're doing. Because PPD is real, especially like a lot of people didn't believe that it could be real for, you know, um, a couple like Carrie and I. Uh, even though I didn't carry the baby, like, I still, you know, yeah. you can still have that. Uh -huh. um, I wasn't shocked because I knew that it could happen, but I was kind of shocked that that's what we figured it out to be. Because, like, I'm not here a lot, and it turns out that was really why. Because I'm not here, and I was missing out on a lot of stuff, and then when I got home, I would just feel sad all the time, and... You know, it was tough. <laughs> well, somebody got a bath and smells really good. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody ate some fruit puree with oatmeal and it was purple and got everywhere. That whole time, I thought that was one of those yogurt pouches. It was a baby food pouch, but there's not yogurt in there. It's baby food. Whoa! Oh, I'm sorry. He loves that dimple. Push it down. Yellow. 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 <laughs> he just looked at me like, hey, don't look at me like that. 
So, can you explain to me, like, what happened and how it's, like, after 10 now <laughs> and what happened? Because I'm still a little out of it. So, earlier this afternoon, uh, Harrison was about to take a nap. He was, like, dozing off in my arms. And Tiffany's like, oh, I could go for a nap, too. So, I walked Harrison over so they could take a nap together. And he woke up. I, I remember him crying, and then I started going, Zzzz, the lightsaber noise. Zzzz, yeah. Zzzz, so, which he you, likes. Um, tried to get him to go back to sleep. He wouldn't. But okay. But calm him down. And once he calmed down, I came over to get him because he wanted to play on the floor. So I put him on the floor and started playing with him. And you. Proceeded to fall asleep. <laughs> like you wanted to do. Okay. Um. And what time was that? Uh, I don't know. I would say four thirty or five o'clock. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know for for sure. So it wasn't okay. So it wasn't like two o'clock. No. <sighs> so then I woke up. Well, then Harrison took a nap. Okay. So I turned all the lights off. I turned the noise machine on. Set. And watched TV, got caught up on some of my shows while he took a nap. And, um, and then about 8 o'clock, 8.30 rolls around and you wake up and you're like, what time is it? I said it's 8.15 and you said, did I miss school? Did I sleep for 28 hours? <laughs> I, cause it was like... You the, were the... so confused and I couldn't, no matter what I said, it didn't matter. You were so confused. The way the light was outside, like the brightness in the room, uh -huh. it looked like 8.15 a.m. Because no. I remember asking you before I kind of came to. Hmm. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bah, bah, bah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bah, bah, bah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know the rest. I don't know either. Man, they just fought. Okay. Anyways. Anyway. <clears throat> so, when I, like, when I woke up, like, a little bit, I said, do you want me to turn the TV off? I don't remember going to bed. How am I kind of sitting up, sort of sleeping? What is happening? I didn't even know that it was Thursday. I thought it was Friday. And when he told me it was 8.15 p.m., I thought it was Friday I know. at 8.15. I thought I, I slept. Know had, I know you did. That means you had a good sleep. But it didn't feel like it because Eva doesn't feel like it now. My eyes feel all funky. <laughs> <sighs> they, well, I mean, you were sleeping hard because you thought you had missed a whole day. Right. But clearly your body needed it. So today's video wasn't as like active again. It's getting to that point where now that it's getting a little bit warmer outside It's raining a little but I think it's killing me, right? We're really hoping that once I get done with the semester that we can start getting him outside doing some outside activities especially over at Grandma Wilson's um, yeah. We're excited to take him to see grass <laughs> and like have him feel the different blades be outside with the dogs. I mean, now that he's like starting to move a little bit, it'll oh, be yeah. interesting to see him like crawl around like in a freshly cut, well, I mean, hours later, of course, but freshly cut grass or like sit on a blanket like on the grass, yeah. you know? We were just talking about that, like how it would be, it's going to be so fun, you know, to see him do that. So I thank you guys for like putting up with these like Even just going winter out months. Even walk in the stroller. Yeah, I, I remember. I only got to take him on one walk, I think. Yeah, and it was cold then. Yeah. It was really cold. Yeah. I'm, like, considering looking into the bike thing. What but, thing? I, like, I don't know what the what the rule is now. Have rules changed for kids getting strapped into the back of a bike? They make those trailers that you pull along. Right. So the old school bikes that had the like seat on the back yeah. for the kids, those are no longer a thing. No, they still make those. They do make those, but yeah. mostly they have that stroller trailer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, is that for like the really little ones or the, do they make them for Harrison's I have age? No idea. Okay. 
I've uh, never Aww. navigated these waters before, so <laughs> I know wasn't that cute. It was. They're best buds. They really are. Uh, what about getting one of those like tri bikes? No. Why? Because you know my thoughts. On but that. they have baskets on the front. So regular bikes can have baskets on the front too. Look at him go. Now he just goes all over the place. He goes wherever you want. Yeah, there's like no stopping him. None. I think we need to get him some black toys. What do you mean? So like he goes for your phone sometimes. He goes for the remotes. I'm interested to see what he does with other... He goes for the, like the remotes and the phones because they're in our hands all the time. I don't playing, know. I don't agree with that. We don't have our phones in our hands a lot. You certainly don't when he's playing. I don't, but it's in my hand more often than something else. When he's laying down, though, like, I think you're really good with the phone. Well, I appreciate that. No, don't do that. We gotta be gentle with the kitty. Oh, from best buds to duds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a video coming out for Saturday, so just be, so you should know that. There's gonna be a video. It's gonna be kind of fun. Carrie didn't really know I was making it until I was making it, yeah. and she never came into the kitchen. I didn't. So she didn't get to see anything. So I want her to see like a tiny bit of what it is. Um, this is a clip that's gonna be going on to Facebook, so if any of you are on Facebook, it'll be uploaded on Saturday like around three o'clock. It's like a different edit. Um, some of you guys have asked, you know, why we put videos on Facebook that are from YouTube. Most of the time there's like something different. There's like a different element in there or something that we've added into it. This is one of those cases. So I want to carry to see a tiny bit of it just to see what she thinks. Ready bud? Get this one called the electric shuffle. So he starts off by spinning around. I did. I couldn't spin for some reason. <laughs> okay, so this one, you guys just do this. I don't think that's how those dance. It's look. not. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I, when I was making that video, I actually stopped, and there's a clip of me drinking a crap load of water. Because I was so thirsty. Oh my goodness. I really love the stain on your shirt. That's not funny. I don't know what that was. Sweat or dirt or whatever. And there's paint on it. I remember you doing this one because you said, oh, this one's easy. I can do this one. No you cannot do the robot. Oh, that's horrible. All right, so what do you, <laughs> okay. you can't see the whole thing. That's not fair. <laughs> so what do you guys think? What do you think, Bubba? He wants more. He does. You want to dance like a robot? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, guys, so that video will be coming up on Saturday. It's a special video, so yes. please, please look out for that because um, yeah. the minute that I watch it is hilarious. Yeah. And we actually are going to be doing one of those promos on YouTube, so uh, on Facebook, I mean, so be sure to share it. Uh, other than that, thanks so much for uh, hanging out with us today, guys. Thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flip mm. <laughs> You know that ending, though, don't you? It's, it's the end screen! Yay! Today's shout-out goes to... Boop. And if you missed yesterday's video, look right there. And if you want to subscribe, click right up there. <laughs> By the way, Carrie, I really like your shirt. I like your shirt too. Where'd you get it? Currently, our shirts are available at our Teespring store. Go check it out. <laughs> Thanks, guys.